Hello everybody, I am Bratman19 and welcome to episode 25 of our Russia campaign in European River Styles 4. Unfortunately, we are under the stewardship of the Russia of the Prussians. We are Russia, we are under the stewardship of the Prussians, as we are a junior partner to them. That I'm hoping I can find a way to end. Um What I'm gonna try to do is ask for independence from people. Yeah, like ask to support. Like you see, negative one sixty nine neutral attitude against, you know, like who are your who are your people? Like the Ottomans. We need to have a positive opinion of them. So let's uh, let's have a chit chat, improve relations with the Ottomans. Okay, who else? Um, the Swedes and the Bohemians are the only other ones that really seem to dislike him um so like with this white right right now it won't let me it says threatened attitude towards russia so we feel they're threatened to us taking away 950 that's a big chunk i want to let them have that Superior units, Saxon infantry is still the one. Eastern care, okay, so Cossack, or Cossack or winged hussars. One for Cossack, okay. Victory. I don't even know what that was, what it was for, how it worked, I really don't know. There we go, we'll fix those guys up. I have rebels, Livonians, um, we're at 36. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Diplo, reputation, yearly inflation reduction. That should start sending it down on its own. I'm making tons of money, <laughs> so that's not a problem. Hmm. Recall with France, how is, uh... What is their thoughts? They really just don't care about Prussia. They didn't have that neutral attitude. We'd be closer. But you. Neutral attitude towards Prussia. A bigger fish to fry. Neutral attitude towards Prussia. Mecklenburg. Same. Denmark. Threatened towards me. Threatened by me. See, I'm so big on threatening, so people don't want me to be free. Even though I can be used by Prussia against all of them. Hmm. Kind of like the national tax modifier. Uh... We'll lose that. Do that. Okay. There you go. We'll do those places. Um, let me go ahead and add in. Let's get a guy working on... Uh, Um, threatening. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. We'll do that. The fort one. I don't see why I'd have to worry about it. Um, investing in a new idea. Recruitment time minus ten percent.
I got that precious sitting there one spot. I'm surprising he's surprised he's letting them Danzig keep you know them keep Danzig. That's a very important place. I'd attack it and grab it. That's what I would do. How's the HRE looking? It's the Ottomans. I mean not Ottomans, but the Austrians. They do have Prussia as an elector, but they're forced to pick them. Yeah, if we don't have anything in the next, you know, 14, you know, 10, 14, 15 minutes, I'm just going to go ahead and call the entire thing because I think it's going to take too long. Uh, revolutionary regiments rise up in revolt in Kursk. Ooh, wait. Yeah, let's see if we can let these guys run around and maybe I can get them to help free me. Russian revolutionaries. Hmm. Sweden, at war, Denmark, Austria, Mecklenburg, yeah, all of them. Yes, please grow your size. <laughs> Livonians, I'll deal with them. Sixteen more with the Ottomans. They want my provinces. They have a core. I mean, that's a, that's what a lot of it is. They just want my provinces. Okay. Um. Interest per annum. Come on. Call the diplomat with the Ottomans. Um, who could I work with? Why are they threatened? There's a claim. They want my provinces, but it's only worth negative four. Improve relations are going down. Enemies, Delhi. Excuse me, Delhi. Can I maybe get you to do it? I mean, anybody, really. If I can get two or three big ones, it's going to really help me. Province war score cost minus 33 or minus 20 percent. Russian revolutionaries are walking around. They're not getting any bigger though. Overthrow the government. Nope, not even close. Maybe they'll strike some kind of gold. I don't know.
Okay. Bohemian Poland got bigger. Yeah, take out the people who are hurting us. <laughs> Come on. We want you to, like, really get going. Go to... Okay, maybe that might help if they start taking these regions out here. Hmm. I was a great power. And if I was a great power now, I'd be... 4th or 5th. Land leader fire. Call from Delhi. Have a chat with Delhi. Or see if we should even have it. Yes, we can ask him. That should be a bonifier. Like, once you get one person, then everybody else should be like, yeah. We should, uh. Yes, perfect. Delhi will help me. That's somebody. Somebody. It'll take them a long time to get here, though. Great Britain looks like they're fire. Or I can't tell who's doing that. Um, they're at war and they're threatened by us. Okay, so that's still not going to happen. They're at war and threatened. Ming, you're at war. You got a neutral attitude, and it's all probably too far away anyway. Ottomans, you probably... Your opinion. If we can fix your opinion, we can ask you for support, and that should probably be enough to at least try. Prussia got involved in this war against Denmark for Danzig, which they should have done a long time ago. Yep, they took Oldenburg out. All they needed was one army to knock him out, like knock out one of his armies. Lose 50 military power. Okay, we're about to go take this guy out. I can't... I can't sit around much longer. I need to... Tr I'm, I'm going to give this a shot on my own. What's the worst? I sit back and let him. You know what's the what's the worst with that? Wow, we lost that. Oh, we lost it because the guy who just got there before us lost. Okay. One, two, three, four. Four. 
is probably going to be 32. All right, 32, 4, 4. Six. Okay, so a few of them have larger than normal. Okay. Give me extra stability. National decisions, establish Sunday schools. Yeah, why not? Okay, you cannot declare war on a member of the Empire if you are already at war with the Emperor. The Emperor probably is already on our side. Um, if you'd all quit being threatened... And what I'll do is I can just sit back here and... Uh, just kind of sit back and defend. Like, oh yeah, go take the, some of that territory, and then uh, let me... As long as I hold St. Petersburg... Covering our manpower, we're getting. I'm gonna get ready to fire this along. Austria came in. Oh, we're all right. That's what it is. Okay. Lots of Prussians deep in our territory. If Austria were to find a way to win, I mean, they could wrestle us free. But you know, I'm not going to say I wouldn't enjoy that. Probably shouldn't have done that last one, but it's okay. Institution spreading. Trying. I mean, down here is taking a while. Novgorod's already got it, so some of the more expensive places are already getting it. Quite a few things that cost like 80 that are kind of in this region getting it now. Yep, like Tiver. Tiver, Troitsko, that place is probably east, I think. Rostov, which is east, I, east of here, I know. All the scamps. Yeah, Perm is out there. Prussian conquest of that. Anybody else want to hop on the train and help me out? What is he at? He's at. 22, 23, 22. We're at 22, 22, 22. 
We'll go ahead and get this, and then we'll go. Maybe he think. Maybe he knows I'm coming. I don't know. Then capital. Oh my gosh, Austria, Buryatia, Würzburg, Switzerland, Mecklenburg, Delhi, Yaroslav, and Kiev are all I'd get. That's terrible. Technically, because they're part of the empire, Austria will come in and protect them. I'm not even attacking, I'm just defending. Ah. That's terrible. That, that's, I, that's a terrible mechanic. I don't see how that can work within the empire. It's not even like I'm an imperial territory either. Or maybe that's why it does that too. I mean, I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys right now. This whole entire campaign went sideways. Uh, after a little bit there. That coalition probably hurt me the most. And then uh, that war with Lithuania or with Denmark here. When I lost two of my rulers at one time. That kind of hurt pretty bad. It was kind of cool though. Taking on the Ottomans and beating, uh, beating them here. Well, after they, you know, try to get us, but, um, you know, it just, I don't think it was ever meant to be. We want to get relentless push East and, uh, the territories to take were this one right here. Udi, matter of fact, let me pull up the map regions. Yeah, it was all of East Siberia. You had to take all of this, including this last one up here. It just didn't happen. Um, you know, I wanted it to. But, uh, you know, just couldn't make it happen. But, uh, what we're going to do anyway, so basically, as bad as that was, I still learned a lot. Um, I really want to get Lithuania into a quick vassalization. I, could, I probably would have, like, royal married them earlier. I would have never had the problem. But now I'm in this huge, you know, I have a lot of troops myself. I get it. I'm very strong. If I probably go in there and look at the ledger. Look at military. Let's look at armies. Um, here we are. We've got a total of 177,000 men. Uh, yeah, 148 plus whatever, you know, I guess that's 177 probably. He's got, see, Delhi, 74, that's 79. Prussia's got 73. He doesn't have any manpower built up, but he does have tons of army units. And they're really, 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 really good. I really needed Sweden or a Bohemia or an Austria or somebody. But when they come in, they're going to bring Austria with them. It's just, even if they're hurt right now, I just was not going to win. Even if I tried, I just know I'm not. So rather than end on a really bad note, I'm going to end on the good note of what all we've done. Uh, maybe in the future, I'll come back and play as Russia. I'll try to take like all of this as well, carve it out early, and then I'll take start going eastward uh, quicker, maybe. Um, one of the biggest things is probably starting to go east by like 1480 to get there by 16 uh, by 1600, because you still have to attack people when you get there. So, you know, one of those little things. But all right, guys, I'm gonna end it right here. I appreciate y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. We will be starting a new series next time and I will see you all then.